Down for Life is a 2010 American dramatic film directed by Alan Jacobs based on the true story of a 15-year-old Latino gang leader in Watts, Los Angeles. The story follows one day in her life as she struggles to break away from her gang. Made in cinema very style, the film stars many local teens, with veteran actors such as Danny Glover, Laz Alonso, Kate Del Castillo, and Snoop Dogg in supporting roles. Down for Life focuses on the gritty reality of gang life and the racial tension surrounding it. Ultimately, the film's message is one of hope to those in tough circumstances while shedding light on a pressing social issue. Plot the film spans one day in the life of Angelica Soto, a.k.a. Rascal, a 15-year-old Latino gang leader in Watts, as she struggles to survive. Surrounded by escalating violence and racial tensions, Rascal realizes her days in the gang are numbered. Encouraged by her English teacher to apply for a writing program in Iowa, Rascal hopes to use the material from her life to write her way out of Watts. The forces around Rascal thrust her into a deadly cycle of violence that seems almost impossible to escape. To leave, she will have to make the dangerous decision to renounce her loyalty to the gang. Cast Jessica Romero as Rascal Danny Glover as Mr. Shannon Elizabeth Peña as Mrs. Castro Snoop Dogg as Mr. Hightower Laz Alonso as Officer Barber Kate Dell, Castillo as Esther, Lil Rob as Manny, Nicholas Gonzalez as Officer Gartiez, Emily Rios as Vanessa, Cesar Garcia as Flaco, Whitney Gamble as Aisha, Andrea Valenzuela as Baby Girl, Isamar Gijaro as Troubles, Carlos Knight, Jessica Romero, Andrea Valenzuela, Isamar Gijaro, Sheila Ochoa, and Eileen Trujillo were discovered at local area high schools. Director Alan Jacobs chose local teenagers with no acting experience to maintain the authenticity of the story. Jacobs believed that using real girls familiar with the types of issues depicted in the film would create an honesty to their performances. Background down for Life is based on the actual experiences of Leslie Castillo, born October 4, 1989, in Jalisco, Mexico. The Castillo family moved to Los Angeles from Mexico when Leslie was four years old. Her father worked nights for a demolition company. Her mother was a housewife, raising Leslie and her two younger siblings. Leslie attended Locke High School in South Central Los Angeles, where some of the movie was filmed, having the reputation as one of the city's lowest performing schools. Locke High School often witnessed one of the home girls or homeboys get shot or killed or just simply put in jail. In 2001, out of a class of 979, only 322 students graduated. Leslie began skipping school in 8th grade. While Leslie was in the process of repeating the 9th grade, she was required to attend summer school to make up the missing credits and was offered a mercy D if she would describe a day in her life. Leslie has since renounced her gang ties. She currently is enrolled at Los Angeles Southwest College. In September 2007, Locke High School became a charter school operated by Green Dot Public Schools. Despite continued violence at Lock High School, Green Dot Public Schools has subdued hostility, increased parental involvement, and has organized its educational system into six academies. Production Team The film was shot on location at Lock High School, where the story was based, as well as at other locations in South Central and East Los Angeles. These locations were chosen to evoke the city in all its stark contrasts of privilege and poverty, hope and despair. Alan Jacobs, a New York native, directed Down for Life. It was Jacobs's seventh feature film. The film was produced by Scott Alvarez and Frank Aragon. It was Aragon's sixth feature film. In 2001, Aragon won the Golden Eagle Award from Nosotros. The art director, Bernardo Trujillo, won the Sierra Award for Best Art Direction for the feature film Frida. 
In 2005, Trujillo's work on and starring Pancho Villa as himself resulted in an Emmy nomination and a nomination for excellence in production design by the Art Directors Guild. The Art Directors Guild also nominated Trujillo for excellence in production design for the Oscar winner Babel in 2007. Vito Colapietro composed the music for Down for Life. Previously, he worked on the soundtracks for Barbershop and Four Brothers. He also was the composer for Just Another Day. Reviews In 2009, Down for Life was screened at both the Toronto Film Festival and the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival, where it received critical support. The film is slated for a theatrical release in fall 2010. Peter Hammond of the Los Angeles Times says, Speaking of 2010 Oscar contenders, we're wondering where the next Precious is coming from. Distributors should look no further than a 2009 Toronto Fest entry down for life. The cast is mostly comprised of LA-based non-actors led by Jessica Romero who could become next award season's Gabori Sidibe, Reed Johnson, also of the Los Angeles Times says, the emotional chemistry among novice performers, in concert with a few seasoned pros such as Danny Glover, Kate Dull, Castillo and Snoop Dogg in secondary roles, is one of the things that makes Down for Life feel more authentic and credible than many of the countless other movies brings street cred to two of the movie's thorniest topics, urban girl gang bangers, and tensions between LA, Latinos and African Americans, Carlos Morales of The Voice, says. This film breathes life and resurrects what is happening on the streets of not only South Central but in all major suburbs across this country. It focuses a bright beam of light on the social issue that has plagued our country for years. The acting is real, the story is real, and the action is real. It is moving, motivating and a must-see. It's deserving of a distribution deal. Dotton as an unofficial entry into next year's Oscar race. It's that good. Toronto's The Globe and Mail describes the film as a gritty, wallet-packing Los Angeles set drama unflinching in its depiction of domestic violence and girl-on-girl -girl brutality, disturbingly frank. The film assaults its viewers, but in a very effective way, Aaron Okov exclaim. C.A. describes the film as a brutal and uncompromising look at an environment characterized by poverty and desperation, the script as well, capturing the contrast between the shockingly commonplace physical and sexual violence of gang life and the moments of light-hearted girlhood. Lead Actress Jessica Romero is a fresh and vivid presence in her film debut as Rascal. Newsblaze.com says the film is a powerful and unflinching look at a world most of us know little about yet it is grounded with a sense of hope that a mainstream audience can relate to.